the Mona Lisa, the Last Supper, Lady with an Ermine, and many other paintings ensures that Leonardo da Vinci is the most famous painter of all time. Although, maybe one of his most interesting works must be lost forever. Or maybe it never actually existed. Giorgio Vasari was an Italian writer, painter, and architect who wrote one of the most influential pieces of historical record of the art history. Lives of the most excellent painters, sculptors, and architects from 1568. The book was divided in three volumes and included biographies and discussions about the art of painters like Raffaello, Botticelli, Michelangelo, and of course, Leonardo da Vinci. In the chapter Vita di Leonardo, in the second volume, Vasari wrote four paragraphs that created a discussion that persists for more than 500 years. In this chapter, Vasari describes with some rich details how da Vinci created a mixture with a lot of different creatures as an inspiration to represent a terrifying and horrendous Greek mythology painting of the Medusa. Some of these animals were lizards, crickets, serpents, butterflies, grasshoppers, bats, and a bunch of other animals and insects. It is said that the da Vinci's Medusa was scary and dark, maybe because of the trustworthy about the remains of dead animals. Quote, he formed a great ugly creature, most horrible and terrifying, which emitted a poisonous breath and turned the air to flame. And he made it coming out of a dark and jagged rock, belching forth venom from its open throat, fire from its eyes, and smoke from its nostrils. In so strange a fashion that it appeared altogether a monstrous and horrible thing. Quote, Giorgio Vasari. Last but not least, it is speculated that this painting served as an inspiration to some later representations, like the one from Caravaggio, as an example. Until this moment, this painting was never found, nor was referred in other books. So remains the question, did this painting really exist at some point? Fast forward to 1782. Luigi Antonio Lanzi, an Italian historian and archaeologist, came with some pretty interesting appointment about da Vinci's Medusa. He said that the painting attributed to da Vinci was the one located in the Accademia degli Uffizi in Florence, Italy. But it wasn't a painting by da Vinci. He said that this painting was made by an anonymous painter around 1600, about 80 years after da Vinci's death, and which was erroneously attributed to Leonardo by Vasari. Some people agreed with the idea but they also said that the difference of dates is very suspicious, creating a new line that says that Euphysi's Medusa is actually a copy of da Vinci's original Medusa. The later centuries were full of different scholars who supported the idea that the Medusa in Uffizi was made by da Vinci. Some others said that the painting is lost forever. Others say it never actually existed in the first place. Before we finish, I would like to give a little more sauce to this discussion, something that I haven't read in the articles nor the forums that I visited to make this video. During the Second World War, the Nazi Germany looted several works of art around Europe, whether from museums or private collections. Later, while the Nazi Germany was about to meet its fateful end, the Nazi army received orders to destroy the remaining works of art in their warehouses. And that was done. Hundreds and hundreds of works were consumed by fire. There is a very interesting film about this event called The Monuments Man from 2014. In fact, it is one of the best films about art ever made. Back to the painting, would it be absurd to imagine that for some reason Da Vinci's Medusa had been locked in some private collection for centuries found by the Nazis and then burned until there was nothing left but soot and dust? Unfortunately, I guess we'll never know. <laughs>